Canadian forces have been leading a NATO mission in Latvia for almost five years, but it's more clear than ever how perilous and important that mission may be. The stakes are magnified in Latvia, bordering a country that is not only waging war, but has become more unpredictable. A bunch of assumptions about how Russia, how Putin in particular might behave uh, over the last couple of years are, are being upended uh, basically on, on every day. Latvia is not just Russia's neighbor. Like Ukraine, Latvia and the Baltic countries of Estonia and Lithuania were once members of the Soviet Union, ruled by Moscow. About a quarter of the population of Latvia is Russian by background. And like Ukraine, Latvia also borders Belarus, Russia's staunch military partner. What is going to happen to us if Ukraine is surrendered easily, says this Latvian resident. We used to be part of the USSR, this woman says. She feels the threat. It's why Canada is sending more troops to Latvia. 460 armed forces personnel, starting this month with artillery guns, the frigate HMCS Halifax and an Aurora surveillance aircraft are also being sent. NATO's mission in the Baltics is deterrence. Russia respects strength, and that's what NATO is trying to demonstrate in their eastern flank countries like Latvia. Latvia is convinced that its membership in NATO is what will hold Russia at bay. The other our allies, starting from Canadians and ending with other Europeans are with us, is a good signal that Putin don't mess with us. It's uh, a, a measured response on part of Canada to, in terms of the number of troops we're sending, but it's a meaningful one to go and enhance the deployment that we already have there. While Latvia enjoys NATO protection, who can be sure of Vladimir Putin's next move these days? He has surprised us. We have Everyone has said we don't believe he will do this, and he has. So we have to be on guard. And being on guard is the Canadian mission in Latvia. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.